Hey guys, I thought that I was going to show you the complete. I don't know, it's not complete, but uh, what I have uh, done so far on my Space Wolves army. And uh, so I put them up on this table for you to see. And uh, we are gonna have a little round look on them. So here we have the. Wolf Guard Terminators. Sorry because of the bad lightning, but I'm trying to do as good as I can. Uh, here we have the Wolf Guards and uh, Bjorn Stormwolf. Uh, see, I've seen before. Really nice unit, I think. And then we are going over to the Grey Hunters, the troop choice. I really like these models. They are incredibly characteristic, characteristic, and uh, guy with a plasma gun here with some OSL lightning. And this unit is the unit that has the most helmets, actually. I like this wolf helmet that I painted up. I think I got a good uh, coloration on it. Let's see if we can get it. On the package, it was just like black and uh, with the grey highlights, but I thought that you didn't get so good details in doing that. I wanted to do something different, so I painted it with Space Wolves grey and highlighted it with some white color. And it turned out very good. I think I had used shadow grey or something as the uh, base. And it turned out pretty good. I like it. Uh, and uh, then we are going over to the. Oh, I want to show you this guy here having such a big, awesome beard. And the power fist. And then we're going over to the Blood Claws, the younglings for the Space Wolves, and uh, pretty much cr a crazy berserker unit. I like this guy so much. I love his hair and his uh, fa facial expression, and I splattered the most of the Blood Claws with blood, so can see that they have been up close in clo uh, close combat. I really love the heads. As you see, most of the Space Wolves are not wearing helmets. They are having so many different head options in, uh, uh, in their uh, uh, boxes. So that is really nice. And you have their drop pod back here. So you can see. Oops. It's pretty dark, I don't know. And here you have uh, my long wolf. And I tried to do some metallic blue sheen on this. I think it turned out pretty. Oh, sorry, pretty good actually. And they are having a little bit worn out armor and so on. And uh, I think he turned out good. He looks. Uh, the lone wolf is like a mini hero. You can say he's an elite choice. He's the last of the. Uh, if a troop, lo if a squad loses their troops, uh, their uh, soldiers, they will not replenish them with other, with others. So. Uh, what the lone wolf means is he is the last of his uh, squad, so he is seeking out a chloroful death, so he maybe can be part of the wolf guard terminators, wolf guards uh, for this, for the wolf lord someday, or he will die an honorable death for his former squad members. So that is pretty cool stuff and. Uh, here you have some uh, scouts. Uh, they are having a heavy bolter here. 
and the frost blade and I made a fur out of a bottom piece of a other cloak and upper piece of this I made with green stuff and here having a little bit worn out armor too and um, some of the guys I fixed with uh, dwarven axes instead of uh, their swords so I thought that would be more space wolfy let's see if we can get some focus here come on please give us some focus I really want to show you guys at least one scout member come on come on oh my god sometimes this oh now incredible yeah you can see his axe there and some OSL from his plasma gun and he's having his old man pretty cool um, and then of course the predator as you have seen before he is pretty much lighter than the other guys I used an airbrush on this actually so it turned out much lighter than the other guys but I, I think it's okay anyway I think it looks good and uh, there you have it guys I hope that you like my army and so on and uh, uh, subscribe if you want to and uh, uh, like if you like so tell me what you think about my army and so on and uh, thank you guys for watching I hope you will have a lovely weekend and uh, thanks for me for this time and have a good one